going on sports fans it's your boy Damian Adams here from the real deal with Damian Adams I'm here with the real take of the week today my real take is on November 17 2014 now you're probably thinking what happened on November 17 2014 why is that day so important that's the last time the UConn women's basketball team lost the game Taylor Swift shake it off with someone on the charts Hunger Games was in theaters Bobby Brown was still a new addition Tupac was still alive. A Different World was still on TV. Okay, I exaggerated those last three, but it's been a long time since they lost a the game. They've won 100 consecutive games and counting. And if you want to go further back, they've won 146 out of 147. That is crazy. Ridiculous. Come on, man. 100 straight games? So you got to just give a strong salute to Gino Oriyama the assistant coaches, and of course all the players who have played for UConn during that winning streak. Now, like I said, it's wonderful for UConn. But for women's college basketball, it's horrible. You can't have this big of a gap between one and everybody else. I understand there's parity between 2 and 25, and they're all scrapping and fighting out, having great games. But when we all know that UConn's going to win the title, it's not good. The fact that they won 100 games isn't the problem, right? Winning 100 games is awesome, very hard to do. It's the fact that they're winning the games by such wide margins. They have won, during this 100-game winning streak, 25 by at least 50 points. I'm going to say that one more time just to let that marinate. They won 25 games by at least 50. 20 is considered a blowout. 30 is considered a really bad night. 50? Only two of the 100 games have been a victory of nine points or less. Only two of the 100 games have had a margin of nine points or less. So literally 98 out of 100 games wasn't close. That's, wow. I'm issuing a challenge to all the other colleges out there, the women's basketball program, step up your game. I know you've been trying. And I understand that a lot of people are saying, you're saying it's bad, how can it be that way? You're talking about them. But epic games and more competition will bring more attention. The fact that they're winning these games by these crazy margins is ridiculous. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a photo from ESPN Stats and Info. Shout out to them. Great Twitter page. I'm going to show you a photo that documents how many times they've beaten people by either 0-9, 10-19, 20 to 29, so on and so forth. So you can see how ridiculous it really looks. After looking at that photo, you see how ridiculous it's really been out here, in the words of Bookie Cousins. They've won literally more games by 60 plus points in this winning streak than they have won by less than 10. And you have to have some type of competitive balance for people to want to watch. I understand that the rankings, or the ratings, excuse me, are really good for the 100th win. But of course that was a monumental moment. For 101, 102, 103, and so on, so forth, the ratings won't be as high. Because you're like, oh, why are we going to watch that? They're going to win by 40 plus points. So I'm issuing a challenge to all the other colleges out there. Step your game up. Come at UConn. Let's get at these folks, dog. I'm tired of them winning. Like I said, it's been too long since they lost. You know what I'm saying? We was out here, you know, singing every little step I take last time they lost the game. Let's get it together. All the young ladies in high school right now, I challenge you. I challenge you. Do not go to UConn. If you're a beast, go somewhere else. Team up with some other girls that you played AAU with, form the female Fab Five, and take out UConn. I know I sound like a hater right now, and UConn fans, you have to write the hate on me. But it's becoming too much. And that's all I got to say, man. Because I'm getting too mad thinking about this. Lack of competitiveness makes me upset. So if you like this video, please subscribe to The Real Deal with Damien Adams on YouTube. If you're watching this on Facebook, please like the Facebook page, The Real Deal with Damien Adams. And of course, subscribe to the podcast, The Real Deal with Damien Adams on iTunes, Podomatic, or the CastBox app. Also, you can log um, subscribe on blogtalkradio.com backslash radio AFS 
And also, go check out the threepointconversion.com. That's T-H-E, the number three, pointconversion.com. Great articles on there and also a great, great sports radio show. So shout out to Raphael Haynes. We'll see you guys next week. Peace.